thank you very, very much for the You're chance welcome. to interview you. And um, the first question, uh, you are from the WT, you are a member of the WT refugee team. Yes, so, exactly. Um, what does that mean? I mean, how does WT support you, for example? Uh, so um, uh, I'm very, I, I want to say thank you to WT for, uh, for uh, give this chance uh, for uh, participate in big tournaments, in big competitions, like uh, world championships, European championships, and also uh, Olympic qualification uh, for, uh, um, for big tournaments like World Championships, uh, European Games, or, or Olympic qualification. We have to, uh, we have to uh, uh, win a medal in G tournament, and then we can uh, participate in that tournament. And VT always support refugee athletes. Uh, they, uh, they organize uh, uh, some training camp. Uh, I was in Korea for two weeks in November, and uh, that was really good. Uh, VT always support us in competition, in, um, uh, for training camps, and they give, they give more, uh, more chance for refugee athletes. Mm -hmm. They give uh, any chance to refugee athletes to participate in, uh, for Olympic Games, and this is really good. Yeah, th that also um, is a question. So as a refugee athlete, you also have the chance to get a quota apply place for Tokyo. So what yeah. about you personally? How uh, do you think, what about Tokyo for you personally? <laughs> so, um, Olympic Games, it was uh, my dream, my uh, childhood dream uh, from many years ago. And now uh, I'm, I know I'm really, really close to Olympic Games. Uh, uh, and uh, I have I have chance for Olympic Games, uh, and uh, I will try uh, my best. I will try my uh, full power for Olympic Games, and I hope I qualified and uh, go to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. You um, you've also been a member of the Iran national team. Uh, um, so why did you decide to leave Iran and come to Germany? <laughs> Okay, so uh, <laughs> I was in uh, when I was in Iran. I invited to national team, uh, and I was in national team training camp. But uh, I'm uh, um, I was a uh, member of national team. Uh, I mean, is I didn't fight for Iran national team. Mm -hmm. uh, only I was in Iran national team training camp, and Iran uh, Super League, Iran uh, national championship, and. Uh, this is a little bit difficult to say <laughs> why because it's a little bit uh, dangerous for me because my family now live in iran ah, and, i see yeah and uh, yeah now i live in germany <laughs> <laughs> maybe one day participate in competition for germany yeah. <laughs> uh, you you came to germany in uh, november 2017 so exactly. how do you like it how do you like living in germany <laughs> Uh, in first in first months in first three or four months it was really really difficult it was really yeah. difficult uh, yeah because because in iran uh, i have a lot of friends a family and uh, yeah I, I i was always busy but but in germany uh, for first uh, three or four months it was difficult because i could speak uh, i couldn't speak german uh, and uh, i didn't have uh, any friend and uh, but uh, step by step it uh, will be better and now i'm i feeling good uh, mm -hmm. i have a normal life in germany uh, i i love berlin and uh, german people was uh, it's german people <laughs> so are so kind and uh, always german federation the DTU always support me always invite me to uh, national team camp i train with uh, training with German national team and they are uh, support me and they are attention to a refugee athlete. Uh, it's, it's very good. I feeling really, really good. Uh, they are so kind. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you so much to German national team for, for supporting me. Thank you. And why did you decide to stay at Berlin and why did you join the club uh, Elite Berlin? Why did you go there and not to some other club or some other town? Uh, yeah, uh, when I came to Germany, uh, direct I came to Berlin and because uh, I have uh, uh, one uh, aunt here, 
uh, Tante in, in German mm -hmm. language. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I tried uh, some uh, um, Taekwondo club in Berlin, but uh, in last in uh, um, last visit, my, my last visit was uh, Elite Berlin, and uh, it was more professional. It was a really good uh, trainer. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sven, and uh, when when uh, when he saw me, uh, quickly he told me, "Oh, you wanna fight? You wanna go to competition?" I say, "Yes, yes." Uh, and then uh, we we train very hard with uh, Mr. Sven, and uh, they have a really really good athlete. Uh, it's like international club. We have mm -hmm. uh, athletes from uh, Afghanistan, Iran. Uh, from Turkey, Germany. It's like a really big and really international club. I like it. And uh, you sacrificed a lot for your sport. I mean, you left um, your home country, you left your family. Why? Why did you do that? I mean, what keeps you going? What is your motivation to do all this? What is your big aim? So, uh, in First, uh, it it wasn't um, uh, f like motivation. It was it was really difficult life because I uh, I couldn't come back to Iran because it's uh, it's dangerous for me uh, um, and I didn't know uh, I have chance for for uh, member to uh, to join to refugee team and uh, when I uh, uh, some some friends and when I saw in uh, social media oh I can I can join to a refugee team. Ah, I, I see. Train, I train harder. I train harder. I training harder, and then uh, I joined the refugee team, and it it is my motivation. Mm -hmm. And now I'm feeling really good because I can. Uh, I have team. Refugee mm -hmm. team is like it's like uh, it's my team, and mm -hmm. uh, I love it. Could could you tell us a little bit about your training? How often do you train, and what? What exactly and with whom do you train? What is your normal training routine? Okay, uh, so before Corona, uh, always I had uh, two station training, uh, uh, morning with uh, my uh, personal trainer uh, in athletic training, uh, Niklas, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he's really, really good uh, coach. And he always supports me and help me for uh, athletic training, fitness training, running and uh, all training. And in the evening, uh, I training uh, in Elite, Taekwondo Elite Berlin, uh, train Taekwondo. And uh, sometimes I training uh, with my wife uh, because uh, she is also Taekwondo athlete and she she former member uh, Iran national team for 10 mm -hmm. years. And uh, she is uh, three times Asian champion, uh, Asian Games bro uh, silver medalist, Asian championships bronze medalist. And we train together and during this lockdown and uh, during uh, the coronavirus, we train in home. Uh, I training with my wife, and she's uh, like like uh, my coach and my uh, training partner, my uh, friend, everything. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and you you won quite many medals. So when you remember your taekwondo career, when you look at your taekwondo career. Which medal is the most important for, for you? Or which success are you most proud of? What is most important for you? Uh, for, for competition? Uh, yes, you mean for, for, for competition, for yes. So uh, I think uh, my opinion is, uh, I think um, mental is it's really important. Uh, when, I have, uh, when I have good mind, when I have uh, positive energy, uh, when I have uh, everything is good in my mind, and then I can I can uh, uh, fight really really better. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, normally uh, I train really hard. I training really hard, and uh, uh, always my my coach, my uh, personal trainer, and my wife always they talk with me, and uh, they push me, and uh, yeah, and uh, when I when I remember my goals, when I remember when I was child. When I was really young, I I thought about Olympic Games, and and this is really really big motivation for me because it mm -hmm. was it was always my dream. Um, I I read uh, that you um, applied for a German pa passport. 
how is uh, this yeah. going? Would you will you sometime will you um, get German nationality? Or <laughs> yes, I hope uh, to get German nationality, uh -huh. but uh, I tried. Uh, but it's uh, it's rule uh, in Germany. Uh, you can you can apply after three years. Ah, I uh, see. And after three years, when uh, when you uh, learn uh, language and uh, when you are in Germany for three years, and then you can apply for for uh, mm, uh, German citizenship in especially case. Normally, I think after five or seven years, but in especially case, uh, it's, it's, it's possible after three mm -hmm. years. And now it's two years and a half, and I hope after uh, uh, November, mm -hmm. November it will be three years. And then I hope I can apply for, for uh, mm -hmm. German nationality, but I have to learn uh, German really, really fast, German language. Uh, and after coronavirus, after lockdown, uh, I will try for uh, mm -hmm. uh, Deutsch Kurs. <laughs> Sehr <hope>. gut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, what, what about your family in Iran? Do you have good, can you keep close contact with them? How are they now at the moment? Uh, yes, uh, uh, I have uh, contact with them bit in WhatsApp or mm -hmm. uh, social media. Uh, uh, technology uh, helped me to this uh, <laughs> to this situation because uh, and they are in in really difficult situation like around the world we have we have uh, uh, lockdown I think and mm. they are staying home in quarantine and uh, uh, for coronavirus uh, but I talk uh, at the moment uh, we talk together more than before mm -hmm. because. Uh, they are in home and I'm also in home and uh, I I have uh, good contact with my little brother uh, and he's uh, 21 years old and uh, we have good contact together always we talk together uh, morning evening and uh, I feeling uh, he's here or he's uh, we are really close and uh, it's really mm -hmm. good Okay, so that was the questions I prepared, but maybe there is something you would like to add, something you would like to say to the Taekwondo community, some message? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm very, very uh, thankful and I want to say thank you so much to uh, World Taekwondo Federation and also International Olympic Committee uh, and uh, the OSP, uh, Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Olympic Sportband, <laughs> the uh, German uh, national team, they are always support me. And uh, I want to say to all, uh, I have one message to all refugee athletes. Uh, we can, um, we can to um, make, uh, like, I mean, uh, we can, uh, we have to follow our dream. And uh, we, it's, I, I think uh, we are not, we are the German athlete, we are, uh, uh, sorry, uh, refugee athlete, we are, uh, we are not different to uh, other athletes. Uh, you can find uh, many talented refugees mm -hmm. and uh, I hope uh, all the refugee athletes can uh, uh, find uh, the goal or the dream mm -hmm. and yeah. Okay, so that was, thank, thank you very much. <laughs> that was my You're part, welcome. so to say. So I give back to Umit in Hamburg. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much for the training your time. Uh, yes, um, it's a super story, emotional story that you have. Um, and uh, thank you to share it with us. Um, Yes, uh, I, I think we can uh, finish here. And uh, yeah. I hope to see you in the next competition next time. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, but I don't know when. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, uh, today I will have organized my, my club for training. Uh, Thank you. On Wednesday, we start with training with the club. Uh, step by step, we go back to the championships. And it gets, really? Okay, thank you exactly. so much for your time, for your training. You're welcome. For your new techniques, with new thank blocks you. and so on. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Greetings to all. You're welcome. Thank you all. And I hope to see you again. And uh, have a nice time.
Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. bye. So and 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 Thursday we have Sarah Stevenson from Great Wow. Okay. <laughs> she she shows uh, show us now in Instagram. Um, and uh, and Thursday we can train with her. She had has Olympic medals, uh, World Championship medals, and the week later we have the Mahama Cho. Wow. Yes, uh, we have. Wow, some people. Okay, it's a big surprise. I posted. Ich kann auch Deutsch reden, ne? Glaube ich. Ich kann das dann posten. Äh, wir haben sehr viele Kandidaten, die jetzt Lust haben. Und die Spitze auch. Ähm, Georg Streif, unser äh, Cheftrainer der deutschen Nationalmannschaft, der will auch mal Training machen. Aber Sarah Stevenson ist echt toll, ähm, weil die, die ist ja auch Präsidentin vom Englischen Verband als Frau. Also, das ist schon hey. auch interessant. Ja. Das wusste ich nicht. Ich sie ja, ja, doch. Sport und. Ähm, ich habe sie nur mal kurz angesprochen und sie macht das liebend gerne. Also Donnerstag können wir sie ja mal ausfragen. Ja, ja, genau. Ich hoffe, ich sehe euch alle wieder. Ähm, ich hatte eben Probleme gehabt mit seinem Instagram, aber ich denke, ich habe das gelöst, indem ich den Screen einfach mal live geschaltet habe. Ja. Ich ganz viele Kommentare aus 